Hey everybody, it is Mike the Reptile Guy here. I know I haven't done a video in quite some time. I've been pretty busy with other stuff. Um, but we did have a very frustrating situation happen yesterday, so we wanted to talk to you about it and just kind of share it with everybody on our page. So yesterday, uh, with my day off, I went up to North Vancouver and stopped in a pet store up there. And they had had a box turtle drop off to them. It was very recently. Um, the box turtle was dropped off by a lady who was going to school and couldn't look after it anymore. And they apparently didn't know anything was really wrong with it. Uh, so we talked to the owner of the pet store and they allowed us to take it with us so we can try to get it treated. Um, now first I want to show you guys a normal box turtle. This is a normal, healthy box turtle. This is what the shell should looks like, uh, you know, the claws. This is a little bit on the long side, just about need clipped again, uh, but they're not too, too bad. You know, they can move a shell, uh, move his legs and all that. He's a very healthy little box turtle. The one we got in looks like this. This is probably the worst condition I have ever seen in a box turtle in my life. And we've seen a lot of bad box turtles. I don't know if you guys remember the video of the ones that had the respiratory infections, where they had blood coming out of their mouths and all that. Um, I think this is worse. Now, there's a few things going on here right away that we can see. One, obviously the claws, very long claws. They should have been trimmed a long time ago. But not only should they have been trimmed, it also shows that there are some nutritional you know, problems there. They're not getting fed the proper diet for the claws to be growing that long and to be curving like that. We can also see the shell. The shell, we'll pull up beside this one here. This shell is a good shell. This shell is a very bad shell. Um, that also could be from a number of things. Uh, most likely a nutrition deficiency of some sort. Uh, could be some, some type of metabolic bone disease, UV related issues. Um, but regardless, the damage is done. It is irreversible damage. Uh, we also had, yesterday was a bit more of an issue. If you guys were on my Facebook page, um, you would have seen a post yesterday of the eyes. The eyes were pretty swollen yesterday to the point where they were actually shut. When the eyes are swollen that much and they're actually shut, it's usually a vitamin A deficiency. Uh, so we did take it into the vet today. It did have a vitamin A shot that we requested. Um, but we don't know if it needed that or not, but it's not gonna hurt it even if it didn't. Uh, Cause as of this morning, the eyes were actually open and not as puffy as they were yesterday. Also has a bit of an overgrown beak there. We've seen a lot worse in box turtles, but the beak is overgrown there. So that will be trimmed a little bit. Unfortunately, there's not much we can do for this turtle. Um, obviously we can trim the claws down a bit. We can trim the beak down a little bit get on a proper diet, but the, the really sad part about it is the damage is done. This is irreversible. It will never have a nice round shell. Um, with its shell, obviously the shell is part of their body. It is their spine and their ribs, for you who didn't know that. Uh, so it is their bones. So when it's shaped like that, that is actually the shape of the spine now. Um, when they get shells like this, they can start affecting their walking. So obviously it's their backbone, which has their spinal cord and all that, so it can affect their walking. Uh, this one seems to be doing okay. We haven't seen it walk around too much. We've only had it for less than a day. So we'll be monitoring that to see how well it walks. Uh, but yeah, like I said, the damage is done. We're just gonna try to get it on a proper diet, trim the claws down a little bit. And uh, once we get it on a proper diet and see if it's eating that, we'll determine whether the quality of life is worth it for this guy. Because it is really about the quality of life with these guys. If he can't move around and he can't eat very much on his own, he looks like he's in pain, we will most likely euthanize him. Um, but if he looks like he's eating and he's walking around, you know, somewhat comfortably, we will keep him around. Because um, he still has, you know, potentially has a few more years left of his life. Um, if anybody would like to donate to our rescue, we actually have our bigger building fund happening right now. So we are actually moving to Mission BC. Uh, we're in Abbotsford right now, so it's only about 15 minutes away from our current location. The new building is gonna be about four times the size of this. If you wanna pan around and just get a really quick shot of what we have right now, it isn't much. Um, we have about 300 animals in our rescue right now. Um, we will, that number obviously is gonna be increasing, but we do need a bigger space. So we're gonna be getting a space, it's about 4,300 square feet which is huge compared to what we have now. Um, just our quarantine room alone is gonna be over twice the size of what we have right now. Uh, so we are trying to raise money right now for this fund right now. We are going to be moving, hopefully within the next week, we'll start construction in the new building, so the beginning of June. Uh, if you want to donate, they can go on PayPal or email transfer to mike at reptileguy.ca or you can go to our GoFundMe page. It is www.gofundme slash reptileguy. Uh, yeah, thanks for watching guys. Hope you enjoyed the video and hopefully I will actually do some more in the future instead of every year or so. So yeah, thanks again for watching.